from NBC 26. Meteorologist Brian Nisnanski. We've seen hit and miss snow showers across northeastern Wisconsin since yesterday evening through the night and still a couple around this morning. Very isolated stuff in between these snow showers, actually mainly clear skies, and eventually we're going to have lots of sun. Another one of those snow showers dropping down from the north, moving right through the Green Bay area, moving pretty quickly, soon into Pierce, soon down towards Wrightstown, and maybe into the Fox Cities. All right. We have a wind chill advisory in effect once again today until noon. Wind chills anywhere from 25 to 35 below zero. Wind chill advisory covering all of northeastern Wisconsin. In fact, it's a wind chill warning across far north central Wisconsin. Currently in Green Bay, as we take a live look outside our Green Bay Tower Cam, again, watch out for some slick spots on the roads this morning with a dusting of snow in spots. Zero, the current temperature in Green Bay. Green Bay is one of the warmer spots because we have the cloud cover and the snow showers. Most spots actually dipping below zero already. It's two below zero in Appleton with a wind chill of 22 below. And as we look across the Midwest here, I guess it could always be worse. International Falls, the actual temperature, 29 degrees uh, below zero this morning. Lots of cold air seeping down once again from Canada. It's one below in O'Connell Falls, four below zero in Clintonville, minus three in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac, and currently two below zero in Kiwani. But you factor in this strong north-northwest wind sustained at about 20 miles per hour in many spots, some higher gusts up to around 30 miles per hour. You factor in this wind and you get wind chills in the 20s below zero. In fact, even at 39 below zero wind chill now in Marinette. Marinette has been the coldest spot this morning. Again, this is getting very dangerous as you get close in on 40 below zero, uh, 32 below zero, the current wind chill in Fond du Lac. Here's your temperature trend. These are the highs of the next seven days, all well below the normal high of 32. The temperature trend is a little bit warmer than yesterday's trend. You'll notice a couple degrees warmer on a few days, so slightly improving forecast, I guess, but still cold. 13 for the high tomorrow, 11 on Saturday. All right, here's your forecast highlights. Again, dangerously cold wind chills through this morning. Again, if you're spending any time outside, you have to dress accordingly uh, with these temperatures. A few inches of snow will be possible again late Friday, Saturday, uh, Friday afternoon and Friday evening. And then cold, but just not quite as cold as we head on into this week. Weekend. Here's your Midwestern satellite and radar. Again, across the Midwest, uh, besides the isolated snow showers right now with the cold front and on the other end of Lake Michigan, uh, things are quiet. High pressure to the west of us. High pressure will fill in, giving us mostly sunny skies today, just a frigid air mass behind this cold front. As we head overnight tonight, high pressure directly above, and again, that will create uh, cold and calm conditions. In fact, actual temperatures tonight will be in the teens below zero, if not 20 below zero in a few spots. Clouds increase uh, through the day on Friday, and then here comes the snow late Friday afternoon, Friday evening, probably during your Friday uh, afternoon commute. We're going to be dealing with this snow. It uh, doesn't look like a monster snowstorm, but certainly enough that you're going to have to shovel. Right now, it looks to be about a two, three, four inch snowstorm for most of the area. All right, your forecast today, zero degrees, windy and bitter cold, wind chills 20 to 30 below zero. For tonight, 18 below zero, mainly clear. I guess the one bit of good news for tonight, the winds calm down, so wind chills kind of stay where they're at, even as the actual low temperature dips to around 18 below of wind chills of 20 to 30 below. All right, 13 on Friday, 11 on Saturday, 10 on Sunday, maybe still some light snow on Saturday, south of Green Bay, and then next week again, a couple more chances for snow on Wednesday and Thursday as we look at northeast Wisconsin's only 10-day forecast here. A uh, little bit warmer next week, but certainly nowhere near normal. No, not very many enjoyable weekends headed our way. Yeah, no. All right.